the airport. This time we're going to uh, Illinois. Hilton Garden Inn. These Hilton Garden Inns all look the same. Uh, and they're usually nice enough. Yeah. We're here two nights. Tonight's the night off. All right, let's see what the view is. You already know it's gonna be nonsense. We're in the middle of nowhere too, so not gonna be much to see. Uh, yeah, full of bullshit, rooftop. Yeah. Well, anyway, here we are. This can't be interesting to anyone, can it? Another fun day. I'm told that there's nothing to walk to nearby to eat. Uh, but then again, they don't know me and they don't know the power of a New York walker. But there is a place called Culver's. I'm familiar with it. Uh, somewhere on this show, we've eaten Culver's before and had ice cream. There's also food in the hotel. Uh, so we may eat there. I'm waiting for Matt to come down. Woman at the hotel said we gotta go I to Culver's. I can't, if it's fried, I can't have it. I don't think Matt's gonna like this place, to be honest. We should look at the menu. Yeah, we'll they're look known there. for their ice cream. That's what Culver's That's is what known for. Me. Yeah, they're not known for food. This That's is what, like Denny's or IHOP or Friendly's or Freddy's. When I look at frozen custard as your headline, I just yeah. don't see like this, anything yeah. in here. That you don't fresh open fresh. with custard. Yeah. No. This but we're gonna good. take a look. Okay, let's look. Yeah, thank you. After, after you're fine, sir. I don't think you're gonna like it. I think I we're gonna eat in the hotel lot. I can't. All right, All right, Matt. What do you think? No. And yeah, you can make it a value this basket. Is, um, this is not good. This is all heart attack food. Yeah. There's a seafood section. Alaska, Alaskan cod it's sandwich. It's gonna be fried. Probably. It's gonna be deep fried. Here we are. We're deciphering between frozen custard for dinner. Mm -hmm or the Hilton specials, which is pretty good. Did you or, remember the, the ice cream of the day? It was pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well have been. Pum pumpkin pecan or oh. pumpkin pecan, depending on where you're from. Look, I think we're gonna have a nice dinner. I think it's gonna cost us about $40 a That's head. What I think. And, uh, Matt and I ate down in the lobby. Food was okay, uh, not great. When we have a night like this, you know, you come in the night before so in case there's any flight problems, you have some time to work on it. Otherwise, if you come in the day of the show, you may miss the show. It's like 11.30 right now. We can sleep in. Soundcheck is 3 p.m. tomorrow. So there's a free breakfast here and those type of things. I don't usually put the TV on when I'm in the hotel rooms. Uh, I've said this before. Sometimes I get a little lonely and I want the TV, but it's not often. Uh, but it's Halloween time, Halloween season, and I love Halloween season. And I love to watch bad horror movies uh, uh, while uh, while in the hotel room. I was hoping to see like Halloween four or five, even six, which was terrible, and seven and eight, which are all terrible. But uh, instead, the only Halloween movie on right now is, in my opinion, the worst one ever. Evil dies tonight. Halloween kills. There's Rusty Griswold. For your information, Rusty. Slept in his underpants last night. Anyway, this is the worst Halloween movie, at least of the new three. Can't stand it. Uh, so anyway, uh, Alan, but maybe I'll leave it on the background to sound off. Hopefully I'm gonna fall asleep soon. I hope everyone is having a happy uh, Halloween, <laughs> even though it's weeks away. Oh, why is Rusty Griswold so angry? When you close the rooms, they put up big signs like this, Russ. It's Kyle Richards. She's on one of them housewife shows, I don't watch that. But uh, her sister, uh-oh, her sister is uh, Kim Richards, and Kim Richards was hot when she was on a movie called Tough Turf. And uh, we discussed she was on a show called Hello Larry, and she was also uh, Escape from Witch Mountain. What kinds of other shit? But anyway, all I know is that it looks like Rusty Griswold is rounding up a posse. There he is. Must have jumped that car 50 yards. Nothing to be proud of, Russ. 50 yards. Hey, uh, Rusty is uh, on the case. He slept in his underpants last night. Probably bopped his baloney. Halloween 3 season of which uh, tribute there. 
Am I the only one who watches uh, the movie uh, with this guy uh, looking at me? <laughs> I sleep like this. Alright, flying early. Got a print set list. Matt and I are uh, walking around with the locals. I figured out the name of the uh, town we're in. Did you know it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. St. Charles. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday. I'm just going to round it up to the state. <laughs> well, I usually do that. Yesterday I just said we're in Illinois, but this is St. Charles, Illinois. And uh, uh, we're taking a walk to the uh, uh, Walmart yeah. and see what other sites we can see. It's nice. It's 55 degrees. And windy. And windy. It's called the windy, uh, well this isn't the windy state. It's, uh, it's the windy state. Yeah, it's the windy state. And today is, I think, October 6, uh, 2023. And uh, it's nice here. I'll take a picture of the, uh, walk. The walk, yeah. It's we nice to walk. We don't get walks like this. No, well, sometimes there's nothing no, to even walk to. A sidewalk is nice. <laughs> yes, that's part of our workout. Matt and I are training for the senior Marines, yep. and uh, there's a lot of. Watch out for bears coming out of this side. It looked like it yesterday. I thought there was some uh, bear type areas. I was on stakeout for a little while. I've already been uh, almost attacked by a cougar. Yeah, and, well, uh, <laughs> the cougar thing is is common at, at Stephen Pearson's show. Oh, you mean the actual? Oh, yeah, the actual the mountain, mountain lion, lion. Mount Puma mountain lion cougar. Where was that? That was uh, Arizona. Arizona, yeah. Where was that? They're not asking us back. Did I tell you that story? No. Oh, it's a good one. What? No way. Really? <laughs> I'm going to tell Matt a story about why we were not welcome back somewhere. This and then the we'll, best part of we'll uh, join it. being out here is learning, hearing the stories. Yes, the aftermath of stories. Hey, there's a little uh, lagoon. Creature from the Black Lagoon. There's snakes in there. The Walmart's right there. The lady tried to tell us it was too far. No, that's not Starbucks even. Starbucks a little bit somewhere too. Yeah, no, I mean, I want to walk. All right, we'll be back. I'll get something. Look at these wild animals. Matt, wild animals. I wonder if they're dangerous. Endangered? <laughs> There's two of them, so that's yeah. good news. They, yeah, they, they work have in more. pairs, yeah. Wow, I, you know, this is... Uh, no, I don't know if they're... Wild, is it? Well, if one's a male and one's a female, I don't know. They both look the same to me. Yeah, no, they don't want anything to do with us. Oh, they just smash right into that car. Yeah, kind of upset when you got yeah. no, that's all right. Feet. They got other places to go. <laughs> anyway. They're going, where are they flying? They're in this town here? South. Yeah. I guess that's south. Yeah, so I heard it <laughs> so in Chicago. That's all we know. We're, which direction? We guess we're going west. I heard in Chicago, south is not good, but whatever. Uh, Matt and I, on our constant touring of, of shopping malls across America, this is the Charlestown Mall. And uh, I, I don't actually know where the mall is. I guess it's back here, you think? I think we have to swim to it. <laughs> yeah, it's a short, this is a short swim. Yeah. I, I don't think they have alligators or anything out here. We're we'll fine. Like a snake or two. A snake or two, yeah. It's cold though. I don't, they snakes? Oh, snakes like it cold, right? Yeah, well, they heat the heat up, so maybe they're hydration Okay, well, it's a short swim. Maybe we don't need, well, uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Stay tuned. You, everyone enjoys Matt and I at the mall. I don't think they're going to have samurai swords in this one. No, but they might have uh, some uh, H&M, some uh, socks. Do you remember the name of the city where we saw the samurai swords in the mall? Uh, Horse Heads, New York. Yeah. Look at all the uh, geese. No, what's that? Now, now we know why there's geese. Yep. This is their uh, little home. How nice that looks. Nature. It is really nice. Uh, well, on our continuing efforts to bring you shopping malls, what did we learn about the mall? The mall doesn't get any business. <laughs> doesn't get a lot of business. In fact, according to the internet, and you can always trust the internet, uh, permanently closed. Yeah, chapter 11. Goodbye. Yeah, at 2000, and well, it's been sold and on a million times. I think the movie theater might still be there. But uh, anyway, so. We can't show you the wall. That explains the last mall looked like it was about to be like that too. Yeah, the last mall has the wrong kind of sh sword shops and um, off the pie. They should take the sign down. You Someone know, should take that sign down. The people like us walking around. Yeah. I guess they after the uh, mall 
you know, filed chapter 11 and any money left over to get the construction crew over here and get mm -hmm. it on I dragged Matt to look at the Funko Pops. And uh, they're a little pricey. They're, like, they're very pricey. They're and like, uh, 12 bucks a piece. They don't want you to run off with it. They put the thing on it. But this one's damaged. Oh. And so that thing they have on it doesn't do very well. No one's buying Hamilton Pops. It's, a, it's silly. Those are bomb, bomb everywhere. What about the blue guy? <sighs> I don't even know that character. It says Pinocchio. That's the one I'd buy because I know nothing about it. But I just buy Pinocchio. These yeah. didn't do very well. These Marvel zombies. And then, I mean, it also depends on your neighborhood. But look at this. This is Flash Gordon. That's a lot of box. And that's Freddie Mercury. A lot of box. It's supposed to be a record. Oh. And does it play? No. Like, remember the old cereal boxes? You know, no, that would be that. good. That would be really awesome. But, so that's the, do that. I would suggest that. Flash Gordon sound check with the Freddie Mercury Funko Pop. They have four here, which means it's not doing very well. And then you have other toys. I don't like this one. This is uh, the Ninja Turtles meet the Universal Monsters. So that's the Mummy and, oh, the Invisible Man and a Ninja Turtle. It doesn't work for me. Hmm. Now, if it really became invisible, that would be... <laughs> then we'd have, a, we'd yeah, we'd have a product. Bob Ross, if you watch the Bob Ross documentary, that his family ripped him off on all that stuff. Oh, really? So we don't want to support that. Who's Bob Ross? You, you don't remember Bob Ross as a singing mogwai over here? He looks like this bass player I watch on uh, YouTube, on Instagram. Like Ross Valley or something? He plays with, him, he plays with it, uh, uh, Lenny Kravitz. Oh, okay, yeah, he doesn't look no, like he's that. He's hand-painted. You don't you remember know? Bob Ross? No. I'm going to put a happy little cloud right over here. He painted on PBS. Oh, well, that's, that yeah. explains He painted, yeah, he was amazing. He's dead now, but he... But he's had a paint bucket like this? No, I kind of, he, he a had house, a... This is a house painter. <laughs> he, had a, he had a palette, and he this, would go... This guy is, this guy's like an artist. I'm going to put a little happy bird right here. You know, folks, sometimes life stinks, and you just go out there and start painting. You really don't know about Ross? No, I don't know. I'm going to show you but, a clip. I mean, I think this is wrong. This, 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 no, this makes didn't. him look like he does home improvement. Yes. <laughs> He used like little scalpels when he painted. Uh, do you know who the voice of Gizmo in Gremlins was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do? No, I don't know who the voice is. I just recognize this, this guy with big ears. Yeah, he's a mogwai. That's Gizmo. Okay. It sings, but I don't know where he's supposed to push the button to get him to sing. I would, I would push. Uh, oh, he has a note. Uh, but you got to have your glasses on. In-store demo removes. The, ah, who the hell knows? Yeah, anyway. Very difficult. Uh, Howie Mandel. I, I usually push bellies, noses. That's what I would have thought. Howie Mandel. Mm, okay. Do you oh, know? Really? Do you know the three rules of the Gremlins? Mm -mm. You don't? Mm. You don't know Bob Ross or the three rules? I don't well, know. The, I don't know. This whole can't feed is... it after midnight. Okay. Can't expose it to water. And uh, no bright light. Okay. Or it will turn into one of the gremlins. Uh, that's a mogwai. The gremlins are like striped. Do you know who played Pennywise in this version? No, but I reckon it was with the clown, right? No, that's Pennywise the Clown. Oh, oh. that's Tim Curry. <laughs> well, they, they ripped off Bozo the Clown. This is Bozo the Clown that had maybe bigger uh, side bush. That's Tim Curry. Okay. This might be Michael Bean. I'm not positive. I, I think I know this. This is like Michael Jordan or something. No? No, that's Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> 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 what do you think all these toys look alike? And, uh, uh, is, this, that, uh, is this Kobe Bryant right here? Or is this like, who's I, this? Uh, nope, it's not Kobe Bryant. It's another one. Anthony one. Davis. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But this is uh, Jimi Hendrix. You see this? That's Jimi Hendrix? Who's going to buy that? That does That's not look like Jimi Hendrix. Would you, would you wear that on your... Jimi Hendrix did not, does not look like that at all. The lapel? No. It looks like a cookie. It looks like a gingerbread cookie. This is Michael Myers, who I watched last night in my room. This is the later one, so that's James Jude Courtney as Michael Myers. More junk. The, the, here, this I like this one. This is the Christmas caroling uh, gremlins. They yeah. see that's what they turn to. Yeah, like, if that came into my door, caroling, I'd have to. It, yeah, Bur Burbank Popo. wouldn't go for Popo that. Popo would have to come. Yeah, and then here's uh, the horror movie section. Uh, you get it's uh, Charlie Brown. All the Charlie Brown holidays. Which I is like good. Charlie Brown. He I was like, great. I like the peanuts. I like the peanuts theme. This is good here. I have this in my I personal collection. Play that theme you do? Piano, we could play it on piano. I saw Stu Ham play. I used to be. Like I saw Stu Ham play the yeah, Charlie Brown theme on bass. Yeah. yeah, I have this. This is all the all the classics. This is all you really need. Yeah. And here's all the horror movies. It's chunky. Yeah, there's good stuff. Uh, Halloween trilogy. I don't do the. I don't do. This the, is not. Why is this is not scary? What's yeah, that doing there? I know. It's kind of fun for These the younger two are ones. Are not really scary. These are not scary. Yeah, but for the for the young youngsters. For Matt, would you ever eat this? Nope. This, this, uh, ghosts turn your milk green. What's the uh, nutrition value on this? Well, I'll take a look. It's 160 calories per serving, which probably is one kernel. <laughs> yeah. That's a cup, it says. 41 grams of carbs, 
25 sugars. Believe it or not, this is not actually as bad as you would think it, it would be. No. But, I mean, it's still not. It's probably like, uh, you like got some vitamin A in there or something. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> vitamin D. Yeah, with milk. Some but this thing, it. by the way, they have plenty of it. If you, if you want to you yeah, see if Vermel wants they're some. They're not running out. See if Vermel wants we some. We'll stock it up. Is that haunted right Frosted Flakes? No, that's just bullshit. They, they, they should Halloween this up. It's Everything. This orange. He's, he's this got some orange on him, right? Funfetti. You guys, you guys should make some of these cupcakes for the oh, holidays. Is this cupcakes? Yeah, it's the uh, oh. frosting, and that's the cupcake mix. It's definitely got some. Uh, Have you ever in your life had funfetti? No. <laughs> you know no. I mean? uh, Do you know about this? No. Uh, this is the no. Monster Mash Seriously. remix, right? Well, you know these guys, right? Yeah, I do. This know is. Them. Can you name them? No, I don't know their names. <laughs> that's Count Chocula. You've heard of that, right? Yeah, Count Chocula. But is this the wolf from the? Disney Channel. His name is Fruit Brute. <laughs> okay. That's that Fruit Brute. Like goofy to me. He's rare. Fruit Brute is rare and okay. Yummy Mummy. That's rare. They don't always and do that. This them. is the Ghostbuster guy? That's Boo Berry. Okay. Oh, and, and what's this chick? She, hold on. That's Frankenberry. So the original three oh, are Count Frank Chocula, yeah. Frankenberry, yeah. <laughs> and Boo Berry. Then they got Fruit Brute and Yummy Mummy. And this is the new character. This is her first year. Her name is Carmella. And she's kind of hip goth chick. It's a, it's Halloween, by the way, Matt. Uh, yeah. Matt, when you were a boy, did you decorate pumpkins? I did. Yeah. I made a uh, tiger once because it's already orange. So all you gotta do is get some black magic marker. And it's hard to cut the, the fangs. Yeah. The, the, what's that called? The, the, the um, incisors. Oh, right. Yeah. And then, um, that's difficult. Because you, you cut it too much and it, then it breaks off. Will you and your lovely wife have a pumpkin in the house this year? Oh, we, we're going to be like traveling. Huh? Well, and we're coming three back, days before. Day yeah. Or the day before. Have yeah. you guys ever had a pumpkin in your relationship? Yes, we have. We got fake ones. All right. There's a talk, you know, when we put the button in there. I like that. Yeah. Do you okay. decorate the house in Burbank? We stick a couple of, um, like, bones in the front yard, like fake bones. The bones is called. Oh, that sounds bones. nice. Like a grave stone. And then I got a smoke machine. So I like that. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. So I, it, was that from the rough cut days? You just no, had them laying no, around? I, I, buy, I buy them. I throw them away and buy them. I don't New know ones why. each year. Yeah. yeah, because I think I don't need this anymore. And then I discover I... You I, like it. I yeah, like it. it has to be back. Yeah. Right. And then Ramel had a uh, uh, five-foot skeleton delivered the day of Halloween last year. Which was <laughs> wow. extremely expensive because... You're getting people to, you're getting Uber drivers on, you know, when they It's not an them. actual skeleton. It's no, it's replica. Yeah, but she spent, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, 150 bucks on that stuff. Is this the way we go? Hand yeah, I, think we I think we're lost, but it is interesting. So you guys I do, think we go. you guys do last second guilt Halloween shots. Like, like, oh, shit, All we should it. do something. Everything, even, well, Christmas trees we do a, uh, uh, a month early. Me too. Do the kids stop by for candy in the neighborhood? They have cut down a lot. I think they think. I think they are scared of our neighborhood. It's probably scared of your neighborhood. <laughs> I don't know why, but they don't. They stop coming. I, I, you know what it is? They, we don't have enough going on up there. There's not enough haunted house homes. Right. No, they, we don't. We don't go. Our street does not go all out. Yeah. Trick or treating is kind of a thing of the past. I mean. I, who wants to bring your kids to strange people's houses anymore? No. And then you don't know what you're doing. You know, the hell they're giving them. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Give them uh, uh, fentanyl or something. Yeah, they 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 could. Could. We better figure out where we're going. You think it's that way? I, I don't know how. I just lost everything. That looks like we passed. But hold on. We better figure out where we are. All right. Matt and I had a nice uh, walk. We went to Starbucks. And we went to Walmart, had to stock up on uh, travel size toiletries. Just make sure everyone sees the view. It did start raining on the way back. We got back just in time. It's like a swamp out there. Uh, we found out the mall is out of business. What I plan on doing now is just laying it on top of my bed right there. It'll be an hour. If I fall asleep, so be it. Sound check, uh, lobby call 245, three o'clock sound check. See you soon. All right, uh, St. Charles, Illinois. It's raining. Seems like it rains everywhere we go. This rain isn't supposed to last very long, but who knows? Look at those clouds. It's starting to feel a lot like winter, which fitting because today is October 6th. We're going over to Soundcheck right now, waiting for the car to get here. 
And then uh, Orcada Theater, this is a legendary place. And I know that uh, somewhere around here, Donnie Wahlberg and Jenny McCarthy uh, make their uh, residence. It's actually uh, very, very cold. I am not dressed appropriately, so I'm going back inside. I missed the, I, did I miss the rough cut in store? I might have. Oh, yeah. Plug. I might have a pick. Look at this, I baby. Say, I missed the rough cut in store. Who's missing? Is that Donnie? I, ju I just need, uh, yeah. Well, you have a mirror. Yeah, I need, that looks I need like David. Chris. I need David mm -hmm. on it to finish it. But then a uh, funny story about this old photo. Mm -hmm. I heard that uh, yeah, Amir was saying. Yeah. Okay, cops yeah. got, uh, got called. Guns. Oh my God, thank you so much. There you go, look at that. Fantastic. All right, bud, thank All you. Right. Thank you, I'm going to the show guess, tonight too. All right, you're going? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. definitely. Bring in the girlfriend too. Oh, good. Perfect. Take care. She should suffer as well as everyone else. <laughs> Bring your plug. Right. Your podcast, oh, thank you very much, I appreciate that. Thank you. Did you know there was going to be a rough cut inside? Huh? <laughs> I did not know there was a That was the the Rough Cut Museum. I think I had everything. Bobby Vulture's version of rap. We call this fake rap, but I put that band together. And yeah, that's fake rap right there. That's rare. I have a question. Yeah. Is Warren D, is Juan Crusade still with them? No, there is no rat right now. Yeah, fake rat shirt. Very rare. Look at the CDs I got. Yeah, they got Steven on that, yeah. Yeah, he was also with Arcade. Arcade Remember yeah. Arcade? Sure, of Steve course. Steve Piercy with, with Fred, Fred Curry and Cinderella. That, I'm trying to get a second out. Well, we'll make sure he signs those for you. Maybe you don't show him the fake rat shirt, though. Zip it up. That's the only rat shirt I have. <laughs> well, we're going to get you a new one. But thank you. It's nice to meet you. And what's your name? Jason. Rat. Nice, nice rat is one of my favorite bands. Oh, absolutely. Well, I get it. What's your favorite rat album? Uh, you know, it goes back and forth, but I think Invasion is my favorite. Yeah, probably, I, I like dancing undercover a lot. I like dancing too. A lot of people pick Cellar, but I like, yeah, I'm with you. Which, which, which one was the last one? Invitation. Yeah, I don't like that one. Really? It's overrated, yeah. Not for me. It, to me, it ended with Detonator. I don't have that one. Yeah. I like to get all their albums. Invitation. Mm. Now Cellar I have, Invasion I have, Reach for the Sky I have. Yeah. All right. All right. I love a little history. We're going to go inside the Arcata Theater, show you guys around. It was designated landmark circa 1926. Let's, uh, let's go in and take a look. They celebrated a Halloween here, which I'm a fan of, and a Christmassy Halloween. A nightmare before Christmas Halloween. When you first come in, uh, they've got all kinds of food and treats and looks nice and then there's the Stephen Piercy merch being set up. There's a very old uh, building. There's some very old restrooms and uh, I don't know what this is. A lot of stairs in these old buildings so you got to be careful. Look, there's some problems in there. And, uh, and then the old, world's oldest elevator. And uh, let's see, what's, is this like a Snow White store? Oh, look at that. And uh, we're in the theater, Waldorf and Statler are right there. Have you seen Stephen Piercy? Uh, and uh, Scott Coogan, home. Scott, Scott and Johnny, both Illinois uh, uh, boys. A lot of history here. And as they were saying, 1926, Al Capone running the moonshine downstairs to the dressing rooms. People come here um, to tour this legendary facility. Tell, tell me some of the history. Okay, so Arcata Theater, 1926. This is where Al Capone, well, one of the many places in the Chicagoland area, he ran his prohibition booze through. Allegedly, this was also a brothel. Nice. Uh, so, um, and then it was also, if you look at that door over there. That, this one? Yeah, that little door oh, right. right here. This led almost like a front. This was a silent movie theater. Mm -hmm. And uh, this door led to the organ to fix. Mm -hmm. So it's not as exciting as the old tunnels that used to be here where they pushed the prohibition booze through. Yeah. But that is an original door. The door behind you, door six, is also an original Al Capone door. Wow. Allegedly, someone was hung behind it. Mm. And there's 
supposedly some blood splatter. Where was the door originally? Right when you walk in. Yeah. yeah. Did you see the blood splatter? Kind of. Yeah. I mean, it's been a while. 1926. 1926, yes. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. If you believe in ghosts. Yeah. This, uh, right, you're this here every place. day, right? I'm here almost every day. Yeah. Have around, you seen anything that you feel a little uh, ghost worthy? A little bit around 11 a.m. Not every day, but it's usually around 11 a.m. The air gets really heavy. Um, I felt people that are not here rush past me. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen shadows. I've heard my name screamed mm -hmm. a couple times. Yes. Not why? Before working here, I never believed in ghosts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I'm a believer now. Very interesting. Yeah. So, well, yeah. I love it. It's very exciting, and we're showing everyone around and uh, a little bit of history. All well, the, the legendary uh, rock stars have signed the wall. Uh, Michelangelo, of course, and uh, <laughs> up here, the, the great Scott Coogan, Face really, he signed the wall. Punky Meadows. Meadows yeah. the, uh, he's the model of all black hair. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dana Strom's here. Uh, Dana Strom, man, look, he drew that. That was Mark's signature. That is Dana's signature he right here. Does signature things, but he's not an artist. Yeah, uh, no, I think someone he's else more did the of a art. Businessman. Yeah. Uh, then uh, Sly and the Family Stone. Oh. <laughs> I don't think Sly was here, but uh, but Buck Cherry. Weasel, is that Weasel or Dweezil Zappa? You right see there, that right there? Where do you see that? No, there, Dweezil. Oh yeah, yeah, Dweezil Zappa. Wow, yeah. good eyes. Yeah, that's authentic. I, I can no, authentic. Yeah, I thought Dave Zane was an actor, but maybe that's Billy Zane. Oh, he's that's Billy Zane. He's right, the yeah. guy at end of t Titanic. Uh, yeah, he, uh, I think he killed bad. Nicole Kidman in a boat movie. Yeah, he's usually a bad guy. Yeah, uh, he's a bad guy. Sings in yeah. Stephen Adler's band right there. Nooch. Uh, Ari. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, we met him. He was nice. Thunderstruck. That must be a uh, ACDC trivia band. Most likely. Oh, there's the Ghostbusters. Uh, some people are real artists here. Johnny, you've played here many times, right? Yeah. You probably play with every band you've been in. Did LA Guns play here? I don't have them together. That was a short time. Okay, yeah. I wasn't in the band long enough to play here. But enough's enough, of course, right? Oh, yeah. I've Where'd you get the coffee? In the big room right there. It's Frank Domino. Here's the real green room right here. Frank Domino of Angel. Good friend. I've never been here. What do you say? Oh, oh Jesus! That step is a doozy. Ooh, that hurt. Watch the step time. <laughs> I think I broke my toe. This is great. It's the way they have it, the refrigerator and everything. It's really laid out nice. It is. I like this place. I got some famous Chicago treats here. There's a butterscotch, the heart candy. Oh, people love that. Get it your aunt's house unless your overbearing sister tells you not to post it on the internet. Johnny, I mean, being here, you feel like moving home? I did until I came back. It's not the same. No, I don't like this stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What don't you like? Sort of dip. Man, I'm sorry. We're going to have to have this dip removed. <laughs> yeah. I know. And this here is uh, a Scarecrow Fest. Scarecrow Weekend. Anyway, I love Halloween. I love October. And uh, this is Scarecrow Fest. Look at all the fresh cider and these donuts that come with apple cider. Uh, and there's the, uh, the haystacks. Uh, it, it was raining earlier, so I think Scarecrow Fest is not as jumping right now uh, as it will be. Come tonight, though. Uh, here's the pumpkin carving demonstrations. Look how cool that is, wow. Look at him, look, we take a look at his work. Very nice. Yeah. All right. Hopefully this music is not uh, copyright. This is what I like about being on the road. You come out to do a, a concert, you know, my job of tour managing, and then you stroll around uh, and you get to go to Scarecrow Fest. They should be playing the Monster Mash uh, or Wednesday 13, but okay, uh, whatever. These are the uh, Scarecrows. People come from all over uh, and compete to take home the prize of uh, uh, our Scarecrow Arcata uh, for Best in Show. Yeah, I might be making a lot of that up. Uh, look at these things. Did you ever think? When will I be in St. Charles? 
again looking at uh, scarecrows <laughs> in my shorts. Right. Share this with everybody at home. You pause if you see something you like. Uh, you can vote. Beautiful day here. Rain this morning, but it's beautiful right now. But this is very, uh, very nice. The Displains Theater, which is owned by the same person, was a lot like this. Uh, with the water there, and I feel like we've been here before. And there's Santa, and uh, I can't identify all of these uh, characters and personalities. I recognize the great Abraham Lincoln, and uh, I'm not sure if that one fell over. I think it did. I don't know who, who uh, I don't know who was in charge. Maybe he had too much to drink. I don't know who's in charge of monitoring this. There's the fall photo area. This is nice, they take this serious. And it's a, probably a nice place to bring the kids for a daiquiri. Using, I like the black cat. Here's Barbie and Ken, if they were scarecrows. And uh, I'm not really sure what this is all about, to be honest. But uh, I'm gonna try not to. Well, it's fun, I believe this is free. If it isn't, uh, maybe I shouldn't have just entered. Hope you guys are enjoying this. More oh, Ghostbusters, that's more fitting. You guys know the history of the Ghostbusters theme song. It's really, I Need a New Drug by Huey Lewis. I want a new drug. And uh, Huey Lewis sued Ray Parker Jr. and took all his publishing. So if you didn't know that, you do know it now. That's what they call a hearse. It's also heating and cooling, apparently. And uh, this is the demo. Still going. Man takes his pumpkins very serious. That's Balloon Freddy. He takes his balloons uh, very serious. He's been wearing them on his head most of his life. I think it would be good to take home some of this uh, fresh stuff. I gotta get the guys out here. Oh, look at that candy apple. Maybe I can talk to that guy some more about rats out front. I went to Scarecrow Fest. Oh, did you go? Yeah, it's kind of nice. Did you blow up some pumpkins? No, but uh, they, they've got cider and donuts and nice. pretty nice. Oh, yeah. no, we, we, know, we know how to do Halloween here in Chicago. Yeah, you take That's it serious. I actually trick or treated in the snow twice. Really? In my lifetime. Yeah, it was in the, it snowed I in, never had in, that in, like, experience. In October. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yep. A lot of, a lot of seven, history. Late 70s, we had real bad blizzards. That's crazy. Matt, you got to see Scarecrow Fest. Uh, 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 Ramel might want you to bring home some. They got donuts and apples. Oh, they have candy apples. Candy apples. Candy All of it. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is the, well, this is Halloween. But the Scarecrow Fest uh, behind me, all kinds of fun things. But the, uh, uh, the woman here at the Akata, I believe her name is Kristen, she was so nice. She showed me a lot of the spots and she told me about the Baker Hotel. The Baker Hotel had a tunnel underground that went under the uh, river. And that's where Al Capone would bring his booze. Uh, uh, this is a bouncy house, part of the mutiny on the bouncy. A lot of history here in St. Charles. That is the Hotel Baker. And uh, this is the river. And there was a, allegedly, I, mean, I think it's true, the, uh, a tunnel. The tunnel went underneath the water, across the way, right here to the Arcata, Club Arcata right there. And uh, that's one of the ways they were sneaking in the booze. A lot of uh, prohibition history. So we're gonna take a little walk uh, uh, on the river. Hoping I don't end up in a van uh, down by. All right, taking a walk along the river. I'm not positive the name of this river, but I'm going to take a stab at it. And I'm going to say that this is the St. Charles River. St. Charles River. It's got to be. You're in St. Charles. You've got a river. What else would you name it? St. Charles River. I'm going to take a quick walk on the river that I've dubbed St. Charles River, which I think is the actual name. 
and hope that I don't get uh, lost. It's a straight line, I probably shouldn't get lost, but I've been lost in dumber places. It's fun to see, uh, you know, the kickoff of the holiday season. And, uh, yeah, this is one of the fun parts about being on the road. I'm told the river goes for miles, and uh, we don't have time for miles, but we have a little time uh, to look around. I was saying earlier, this is one of the great parts about being on the road, waking up in a different city every day, at least every day that you're traveling, and seeing things that you wouldn't normally see. A lot of history here in St. Charles. Brian Wilson uh, lived here for quite some time. He had a recording studio with a tunnel that went from his house to the recording studio. I'm not quite sure where it is, otherwise I would visit. Of course, a lot of the Al Capone prohibition stories. And uh, it's a very nice place. It is getting uh, chilly. I, I'm calling today the first day of winter. But it's very nice. And as I said, you know, uh, especially October, November, December, it's going to be colder traveling now. You get to, uh, you know, get into the holiday spirit. Different places do things differently. Uh-oh. I think it's raining. Uh -oh. I want to see a little more. I better hurry. I was looking forward to showing you guys all these sites. Uh, uh, no fishing from the bridge. I was out on a nice leisurely stroll. Uh, uh, the rain has begun, and uh, I think the Scarecrow Fest is in danger of uh, uh, being washed out. Uh, you can see scarecrows running everywhere, trying to get out of the, the rain. Very dangerous uh, situation. All right, back from the river. Uh, Scarecrow Fest, almost. It's rained out. You can see all the scarecrows trying to stay dry, trying to get warm. Uh, the scarecrows uh, around here are probably used to this. There are some scarecrow casualties, uh, as you can see. Uh, most scarecrows know that this is an occupational hazard, uh, much like this music. Everybody uh, in Illinois talks about this Portillo's. Portillo's, hot dogs, beef sandwiches. Uh, Chicago food. I guess it's a chain and maybe it's not. I should probably get out of light. Uh, it, maybe it's not the same as it used to be. Johnny says it might not be uh, now. It's franchised out, but I don't know. But anyway, I want to try it. It's about a half a mile walk. Everyone else says that's too far to walk. Uh, most people don't walk as much as I do. Uh, being from New York, I don't even own a car. And so anyway, we're going to try these Portillo's hot dogs. Portillo's. Here we go. All right. This is Portillo's, which I've heard so much about. Johnny obviously lived in Chicago. They have a guy in the street who takes your order before you get to the window. Is that what it is? Yeah. All right. And they have a drive through and they have salads. Matt could have came with us. Beef burgers and salads. This is not what I expected. This is like Casa Bonita. This is a big place. I thought it was like a hot dog stand. What is that? He signed it. Oh, that's Dick. been open since 2002. It's been over 20 years. All right. Have you had a salted caramel shake? No. Wow. This place is great. This is kind of like a Fuddruckers or one of those kind of places. I never would have guessed this is a... Didn't they all look like this? No. They all have themes. But this is... They all look like this part? Wow, look at this. Yeah. Johnny, this is our kind of place. Wow. <laughs> All right. Portillo's. That was the original Portillo's right there, 1963. Johnny was a morning. I expected that more of a stand. All right, Johnny, pick a good... 
you grew up in Chicago, Portillo's is part of your life, you know the good places to sit. This is kind of a newer one, so it's... You don't have a history here. Okay. You, you want a place hey. that has some history. Hello. All right, Johnny. All right. Where, uh, would, where would Dick Portillo would like to sit? When I first met Johnny, I heard a lot about Portillo's. Other people who live in Chicago told me about this place, and uh, I, I want the full experience. I'd say we sit right here. Right here. This one. All right, so it looks good. Pretty good? Yeah, I think so. They got the padded cushions instead of sitting on the wood. Right, I see. We're going cushioning over wood. All right, here we go. I don't know what's what. Wood. Portillo's, and for those of you watching who are going to say this isn't healthy, all this was twenty-five dollars. Go fuck it's, kind of it's a lot. It's a lot. It's so it, we're paying for the name. That's it feels like. That it's feels like a maximum street. And that's a high, I think. Yeah. So there. That's a Chicago hot dog. Johnny, tell everybody what goes on in Chicago hot dog. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Right. Hold on. Let Johnny eat. You got a pickle spear. Pickle spear. Check. Tomato. Yeah, tomatoes. Onion. So, relish. And mustard and uh, cucumber salt. Very important. Or celery salt. Is it cucumber yeah. or celery? Maybe you're right. I think it's celery. celery. And then I have this. Johnny doesn't have the sport peppers, but I, I have them. Yeah, they're good. And, uh, That's what Matt said he liked. I don't know why he didn't come. He said he loved it. Yeah, and this is a Maxwell Street, which is basically onions and peppers, I believe. And a, a sauce is really good. And these are the right buns. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that was very good. Portillo's. It's two hours until we leave for the show, but... Uh, I really enjoyed it. This was not the experience I expected. Uh, and it lived up to the hype. Most things don't live up to the hype. Johnny says it was better in the old days. Thought I'd watch a Halloween movie before the show. It said Halloween 2. And then I see this Rob Zombie bullshit. This is not Halloween. I don't even know what is going on, but this is awful and uh, disrespectful to the legacy of Michael Myers. All right, I tried something. Uh, to find something to watch on TV in a short time. Halloween 2 was on, but not the real Halloween 2, the bullshit Rob Zombie movie. I am now uh, uh, dressed properly uh, for a rock and roll concert, and uh, hopefully I'll see uh, some of you there, and you'll see some people there. And None of this really makes sense, but I felt like I should. Uh, I'm a man of the people. I like to uh, walk through the crowd with all people. I feel like I'm wasting time right now, much like my... So, it's hard to get through all these people, but uh, anyway, just a few minutes, showtime. I know you guys are excited for that. I know I am. Everybody's about 26 7 here tonight, right? Yeah, yeah right. Does my hair sound all right? Thank you. All right. And by the way, this song we're going to do here, we haven't done in a long time, even the band Rad, by the way. So, but it's from that Rad EP. You familiar? Are you? You've been hanging around that long? Well, fuck me, let's go. Walk in the dog, baby.
Uh, my name is Jay Lee Smith from Ottawa, Illinois. Rock on, Stephen Piercy. Oh Jay Lee, we see you in the chat all the time. All You're the very time. generous, and I appreciate that. And it was nice to meet you here. Yeah, and you got to meet Stephen Piercy, more important. That's right. So thank you. got to meet you, too. Thank you. Thank you, Jay Lee. I appreciate it. You'll, right. you'll be in this episode. This will be like episode 58. <laughs> in a couple months. It'll be a little Martell while. But it'll be there. All right, good to see you, Jason. Thanks, brother. Good to see you. Good good to see you. See you All right. Jason Lance. Lance good to see you. Love your program. Love Monica. Love Rat. Yeah. Great to see you guys. Well, thank you, Lance. Great I appreciate it. And, and supporting my, uh, 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 you're a fellow diabetic, so yep. we got to stick together. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Lance. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Whatever. Look at that. Yeah, it is. Oh, I, no, it's just it's just a guidance thing. On this? Yeah. Sign that on there. Yeah. That could be a set list right there, the whole record. And it, it just might be. <laughs> yeah. uh, right? Show me uh, the rough cut stuff. I'm, I see Rat all the time. Is that it, just the two? Okay, no, you got a few things. Nice. So with, that's actually signed with by With Paul, Shirtino yeah, I recognize and, that. And then that's enough That's enough for stuff. Johnny, right? Yep. Yeah. But yeah, that's the three rough cuts. Yeah, I And can, then these are just bigger prints of it. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. Wow. Look at that. I think it's off. Yeah, I'll tell you what's a bootleg and what isn't. Very cool. Thank Thank you. You. Yeah. Thank you. So thanks for the line. Very rare to see a fake rat. Yeah. Yeah. Nice brother. Created by me. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. What's up? Come here, brother. One person had nothing to do with it. This is one of those, my guys. And uh, they all hated him. Hey, Steven, look at this. Learn Kane. What? Yeah. I Very, love it. That's, a, that's a fake rat shirt right there. I know. Very rare. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? Oh, oh I brought balls. I work here. What's up, Brad? Give one of my favorite bands. Well, thank you so that much. What's your favorite rat album? told the last band. My favorite <laughs> rat album was just Walk Through Here. It's uh, the EP. That shirt costs so much money in legal fees. Right, here we go. Hold on. Come on. Yeah. Today is October 7th, and uh, this is a long day. It's 5.18, lobby call is 5.30. We're going to drive in almost an hour to the airport. Uh, going to fly only about 45 minutes, but then rent cars, drive two hours, go to Ohio, sound check, play a show, drive back two hours around four in the morning, be home Sunday morning in Vegas by 9 a.m. So uh, gonna be a busy uh, on the go day. The, uh, the driver uh, set for... All right, just hang tight. Let's, let's give them a few minutes, see what they do. The, uh, the, the people at the venue, the people at the venue, they, they scheduled a pickup for 5.30 p.m. instead of 5.30 a.m. Big screw up. And right now we can't get a ride. Johnny, how many bags did you count? <laughs> I counted 16, the, 7, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, wait, hold on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, it's 5.30 in the morning and we haven't slept. Like 16, let's see. All right, yeah. Including the Skyline set. The, the, fall, the, fall, the fall collection, yeah. The fall, the fall collection. All right, well, here we are, we're screwed. They, they set the ride for uh, a p.m. when it's supposed to be a.m. Nothing like thorough uh, people. And so we're now waiting for them to find this a backup ride to get to Midway Airport. A little scary. Somehow I think we'll pull it off. But uh, Everybody always complains about why we have early lobby calls and early flights because stupid shit happens. Uh, you know. How a guy could call in a flight. I mean, I don't know. Listen, maybe the limo service screwed up and wrote down PM and said AM. But they knew we had an early flight. They said we better leave early just to be safe. And now we're all sitting here like uh, jerks because uh, someone put down PM instead of AM. Now, I think we're going to make it. They said they found the backup service. The backup service uh, is on the way. Who the hell knows, though? But it, it, it's going to be tight. I, I think, like I said, I think we make it. And that's because I plan uh, everything early. Have to be early. I don't want to be up at this time. With my crooked glasses. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Clearly, listen to this god awful music. We got down here at 5 30 in the morning. It's after 6 now. 
owner of the company said it was his fault. Do not blame the venue, it was his fault. He put PM instead of AM. He said he has two rather large SUVs on the way. We have eight people, lots of baggage. Most people have baggage in their lives. And, uh, but they're not here yet. He says they're gonna get us to Midway Airport in time. It's a little nerve wracking. Um, uh, so we're gonna find out if, if we make it. Um, but it is almost uh, sunlight, it's coming. And we've gotta get on this plane. It's an 8.30 plane, 45 minute flight southwest from Midway to Columbus. Uh, yeah, 